Allô, allô. I am Bernard from France. And I am a member of the Tusik Jumper family. The red jumper is our sign of the finest quality. So you can enjoy our authentic taste. Magnifique. I grew up under the Mediterranean climate. At higher altitudes. Now I have a très joli. Golden color. Discover my aromas of apricot. Pear and green apple. Notes of walnuts and hazelnuts. I am un bon ensemble avec seafood, fish, and charcuterie. Mm, bon appétit. Hey everybody, so as you saw from the intro, this is another one of those wines that is using an augmented reality app. This is the Tassoc Jumper Chardonnay. It's no vintage, it's 13% alcohol by volume, and I don't think they actually sell it in the US yet. I have to double check on that, so they may not be a price on it, but they were kind enough to send it to me anyway. Um, so I'm gonna kinda go through this. They came in a little protective packaging, which was quite nice. Uh, also, screw top, plus one. I don't know if that's the way that the wines come or if that's just the way that the sample is sent, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, one thing to note with this wine, it is a Vin de France, so it does not have an AOC, so the grapes could come from pretty much any, anywhere in, in France. Um, not that it means it's bad, it just means that if you're looking for like a certain appellation, you, you may not be getting it with this wine. Uh, in terms of color, uh, I'm gonna say you're medium lemon. No artifacts, no cloudiness on the nose. Well, I'm not getting the uh, the apricot that they mentioned, but the, the pear and apple is there. Actually, the thing that I'm getting out of this, the even more than the pear is lemon. I'm getting a very bright lemon note coming out of this wine. Um, I know it <laughs> in the little augmented reality video, um, they also talk about walnuts and hazelnuts. I'm not getting that. I am getting a little bit of alcohol and I, I'm not getting hazelnuts or walnuts, but I am getting a slight almond, just a little bit of an almond. But yeah, I'm also not getting any mallow no notes. There are really no heavy barrel notes that are uh, part of this. Yeah, it's just kind of a come drink me type of drink. Um, so let's do that and see how it goes. See, got about medium, oh, medium plus acid, medium body. Uh, alcohol, medium. It's pretty medium across the board. Uh, I'll let the finish keep going. I'll tell you how long that lasts. In terms of intensity, it's got a medium intensity. And now that all of this uh, finish has ended, uh, I would say you're about medium plus finish. So you have a little bit longer finish. I've always forget to mention this. Nose intensity, medium on the nose intensity. I, I, it's, it's kind of just a very even keel Chardonnay. Um, so if you're someone who likes really complex Chardonnays, this is probably not gonna be the Chardonnay for you. If you are someone like my wife who hates complex Chardonnays and is more of a fan of like Californian unoaked or Chablis, then this will probably be pretty good for you. Um, but how good is it? Let's get to the Blick. Uh, in terms of balance, I'm gonna give you half a point for balance. I wish there was a little bit more body uh, to this wine, it is, a l the body does feel a little weak to me. But with that being said, it's, it also doesn't have a ton of other things to carry with it. So it, it could be okay. Um, I just tend to like just a little bit more body overall in my shards, so half a point. Uh, length, medium, finish, like I said, going on to medium plus, so half a point there. Intensity, medium on both the nose and on the palate, so half a point. And in terms of complexity, uh, I'm not gonna give you any points on that. Uh, you do have some 
green notes, you do have a little bit of that nuttiness uh, and a little bit of citrus, but not a ton of different things that I'm getting out of this wine. Uh, so in the end, that's one and a half points. I'm gonna give you okay. Um, like I said, this really depends on how you like your shards. If you like a little bit more of a simple, unoaked, fruit forward shard, then this will actually probably fall better into that good category for you. If you're someone who likes a little bit more of a complex Chardonnay um, that has more of like a mallow note, some really decent barrel notes that are on it and possibly some aging, then this isn't going to be your choice. Uh, you're going to want to try to look for another wine in that case. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Two Sock Jumper Chardonnay? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.